This will be part one of the camper build. Uh, here's this little camper I picked up. Um, I bought it last weekend for uh, $300. I didn't know much about it, just seen a couple of pictures. And uh, this is what I went and picked up out of the pictures. He didn't really have much of a description. So I hooked some water up to it to see if it worked. I got electricity ran to it and then I went and took my propane bottle and hooked it to it. So far, we got our little end spout here for the hose that's hooked up. It's frozen in there. It's kind of cold. Dang, that sucks. Let me turn the water on. All right, anyway, water goes through here. I can turn on the sink right there. And then it comes out right this little hole here. Uh, there's my power, my ground power or whatever. We got the window taken out because he gave me an AC unit with it. Uh, it's a little rough, but I mean, it is what it is. This thing, 300 bucks and, and whatever. Little top view. I wanted something, one of these for a while because to make it my little, you know, camper trailer. Uh, I don't know. Say the power goes off in the house or something, I can come out here, do whatever, <clears throat> run a generator, a little travel deal. There's a spot where I can fill up the water tank that's in there under one of the seats. Uh, I don't, it was, wasn't was hooked up, so I don't know if there's a hole or something in it. Here's the front. 300 bucks, not a bad deal. I'm going to do all sorts of stuff to it, so this would just be part one of of the camper part one is showing you what i got doors on it i mean both opened good the, he gave me the key to it so we can lock her up this is for the heating unit that's in it it's got a uh, like a gas burning uh, furnace something like you'd have in your house but we me and a buddy tried to light that we couldn't get it to light i don't know if it's unhooked or what it's kind of dirty because I was pulling out stuff I was finding up underneath there, like charcoal and bags and blinds. But that would be bed, bed one there. He said it leaked over there in the corner and over there just a little bit. So he started doing what he was doing. I'm going to do what I do and get rid of all and any, I don't know, mold or whatever could be back there. I don't see any mold, but... I'm going to take it, fix it, put the insulation back in it, and then I'll seal this whole trailer, paint it. Uh, right here is where the furnace, furnace was, or is, I should say, because it's still there. just doesn't work. There's a wheel well down there because we got the little low rider style slammed old camper. Um, we got a closet or whatever this is. Yeah, I guess this would be the closet, a little rack up there. Then you got your furnace here, your blower, and then I guess, yeah, it just shoots out here all over the camper. But I think I'm going to put a little wood-burning stove right here. I got one coming in the mail. So I'm going to, hopefully it'll fit. I mean, it's about the same size. I'll get rid of all this. So get rid of, take out anything I need, and then go buy some paneling from Lowe's or something. Maybe I'll find the same color. I don't think I'm going to paint in here or anything. Maybe I'll lo lo lay a different kind of floor. Some, yeah, you know, like the wood plank style or something. But yeah, there's the... There's the old closet that hopefully I can fit my wood-burning stove. I got one of these camper wood-burning stoves coming in. It should be here tomorrow in the mail. Uh, it'll definitely be in the next video. So this video i don't know there's that there's me uh all right here's the stove that uh came with it obviously like we got the i think this is like a 1960 something maybe 60s to 66 model i don't really know but uh there's the stove that came in it it's hooked to the propane the propane goes uh, right there next to that water line up underneath that board and it goes back to my propane tank We hooked that up. It doesn't smell like it leaks or anything. Well, I mean, I guess it doesn't We turned on the stove and lit the burner and it fired right up. So that works. I did not try the oven but 
I'm sure it works. Maybe I won't use it much out there camping anyway. And if I have a, the stove, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I'm not really cooking stuff in the oven while camping any, anyway. So, but I could if that works and you know, I'll be the guy that can't. But the water runs out of here, which is frozen. That's stupid. Like my pipes would be frozen or something. I don't know why. That's not. Oh, well, it's supposed to be warm today. Everything is all out. I'm not worried about if I have to replace, like, a little bit of pipe, which I doubt it would because it's, it was coming out of there. Anyway, the guy gave me a jack with it because the jack on it doesn't have this foot piece. But I think I'm going to get one with a wheel anyway. That way I can move it around. Uh, looks like we had some leaks up there. Or just some peeling, whatever. I don't. It doesn't matter. I'm going to fix it. Back there. Doesn't look too bad. A little deal over here. We need to rip some stuff there to fix that. This is the table. These are all the original... Uh, well, this is the table that folds into a bed. That's what it looks like as a bed. But everything works. Table's there. Oh, the lights work. I didn't even get to that. Uh, they work if it's plugged in. If it's plugged in over here. Maybe something happened. This one looks plugged in still. My outside is plugged in. Oh yeah, I know what it is. Idiot. All right, this cool little camper came with a breaker box. We'll flip that on. There's my light working. Nothing was unplugged. I was just forgetting key key information. So we got a little light here, and then one around here. All these lights have little plug-ins by them. I think that's cool. So I mean, I'm gonna keep that how it is, and then I'm gonna put 200 watt solar panels on top of this thing, and uh, with the charge controller and the inverter and all that, and then maybe just a little strip of plug-ins. But that way, this can be like a that with this wood burning stove can be like a little off grid, you know, bug out trailer or whatever. I don't know. I can do whatever I want with it. Go have have electricity in the sunny out at the lake, and there's no plug ins, or maybe my generator's out of gas, or I don't know. Just back up. This is the table. It goes up. It's got the leg on it. Oh, there's some other junk from something. But it all works. I got, uh, there's the tank. I don't know what that is. Maybe 20 gallon or something. But maybe less. I have no idea. That's just a solid guess. And there's the, a pump. Like a, a sink faucet. But you pump it. So this tank's all ran off a pump. Hand pumping. Which I thought that, that was cool. Because that's like another off grid style thing. I know just another hole over here in the sink. So... Maybe that's exactly what that is. They had it hooked up so you can just pump it with your hand. And I am I would definitely put that back in there. So I'll probably order some parts to... Well, first I'll make sure the jug holds water. And then... I'll order some parts. Maybe it needs new line or something. Uh, I don't... Someone took it apart. I did not. So I'm going to want to try to figure out why it was taken apart. So, there we go, the, uh, the water tank, and then there is no bad water tank, because there is no bathroom in here, and that sink just leads right out there to outside, which I think that's so cool, I could put a little hose and, you know, just lead it wherever I want, make sure I'm not using any chemicals or anything stupid in here, and then I should be completely fine, a bar of soap ain't gonna hurt the grass, uh, we had a light here. I don't know if that's OEM or this was put in. And it looks like a little, maybe like 16 inch fluorescent light. But uh, 
I don't really know. I'll probably find one, see if it works. And then that'll be that. Maybe I can find a cover for it or something. It's not, it just looks like it got old and the tape got old and fell apart. But we'll, we'll fix it. And there's a hole in the window back there. And here's the AC unit he gave me. I'm going to see if it works. If it works, then I might rock it. Uh, unless I can find a cheap one that's like... Uh, uh, that wouldn't be hard on my generator. It wouldn't be hard on... Well, it's going to be hard on the solar panels if I used it like that. But maybe... I don't know. Yeah, I'll, I don't know if I'll buy anything. I'll probably use that. I'll have my buddy weld me up some better brackets on the back. That's the previous owner's. Like, he taped up some cardboard there to try to keep it from leaking. And I guess it didn't work all that great. But I'll have it all sealed up and ready to go. And then the it'll just be mounted there forever. Unless it goes out, then I can rip it out and put something different in, same size one or something. But uh, it's cool. All the windows, I mean, they all work. They open up. I think it's so sweet. None of them are broke out. Uh, I'm going to be excited about that at the lake or, you know, on my camping adventures that I'll be able to open the windows. I thought about maybe tinting them. But um, I'll have some blinds up or something, so maybe I won't tint them. It just depends what 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 I'm what I'm doing. Cause we're trying to get a new house out on the country, and then uh, I work, and on the weekend I just we'll just see if I got time. Whatever. Two little window vent type deals on this these two sides. I think that's pretty cool as well. Um, it came with all the screens, oh, oh, I put them all up there, so I mean, pretty solid, it came with the bar that goes across, that way if, you know, your friends are sleeping over here, you got your friends staying the night with you in the camper, your dogs, or whatever the, whatever have you, there, there you got the rail where you can put your curtain or whatever, that way you got some privacy. And then same with this side, it's got your little, uh, it looks like double privacy. I don't know. We got what appears to be the OEM one or something, and then someone built one that you can hang from. Pretty solid. Little doorstop. Cabinets hold themselves up or whatever. Cool little old school lights. We got that. Probably change it to LED bulbs. That way I'm being more efficient. Uh, other than that, I'm not going to do much to in here. Uh, I've just fixed it up and put in my wood stove back here. Maybe tint the windows. Probably not. Hang curtains because all the rods are there. So that's probably exactly what I'll do is hang curtains. Clean this bad boy out. Uh, maybe get like a twin bed or whatever size this is. This may even... I don't know, maybe a, I don't know, that ain't no queen, twin bed, full bed, something, maybe a twin bed, maybe I can just find a big piece of foam off of, at the, what we call the yard store around here, pretty solid little camper, I don't know what this thing's called, I'm sure I can, I don't know, it came with some, Hydro flame furnace things. This is all the furnace paperwork. In the back, there's a. I can't really see under here. What's going on? Yeah, we got like a little escape hatch that way. I guess we can put some storage in there. And then over there, we got nothing. And then behind that wall is. Behind that wall is uh, storage from the outside. And I, it's all banged up. It's hard to shut. Someone put a lock on it. It was full of this stuff. Like my leveling stands. And some badminton games. So, I'll fix that up. Bend out that rail. Paint this up. Seal it up. And I'm going to camp this thing. I'm excited about it. It was cheap. I just got rid of my enclosed trailer, so now I got space over here. Uh, 
here she is on the outside. I'm going to get some new tires for it. Maybe even a new set of wheels because these wheel and tires said I found on eBay is 116 bucks, And it's two wheels, two tires. And the wheels are like almost like the newer trailer style. It's got a little two inch ball. That's what I was talking about. That jack sits on that circle. I'm going to get a wheel probably. That way I can you know move it like that move the jack like that and open my tailgate when it took to my truck so there's a propane tank it came with which is sweet because i can go trade that into walmart for a brand new full one and then i got you know one here that i pulled out of the garage to make sure everything worked um there she is camper uh make sure you guys stay tuned uh, this is just part one of probably like maybe five part series. I don't know. We'll just see. Uh, hope you guys like the video. If you guys want to see anything or have any questions, I actually have a question. If you know what this camper is, like maybe what make it is. Well, I've done a little bit of research. It's like a 60s model holiday Rambler or maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I googled a bunch of stuff. If you know what it is, comment down there. Uh, subscribe. Stay tuned. Hit the notifications bell. Whatever you got to do to see part two. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope to see you next time.